Hey guys, Rafferty Pendry here. In this video, I'm talking about entitlement and how that can actually hold you back. Take a look. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up for me and feel free to subscribe to my channel for future content like this. So first off, let's talk about what is entitlement. Entitlement is the belief that we deserve something without having to work for it. That just means that automatically we deserve something. I'm not the guy who believes entire generations feel the entitlement although there are plenty of people who do, I think there's a lot of entitlement across all kinds of generations. The most important piece in my mind is that entitlement, that feeling that you're owed something when you haven't actually done the work for it. And the reality is either you are or you aren't. And if you aren't, go out there and get it. So what are a couple of ways that you can actually identify when you have entitlement? Feeling like you're better than others, which I mean, it can also be a confidence point, but it can also be a point where you're not taking action, but you're feeling like you're better than somebody else. Expecting things to happen without putting any effort in them. Blaming others for your failures. Sitting there and saying, well, I can't believe because of this, blah, blah, blah. I can't believe because of this person, whatever it is. If you're sitting there being Mr. Complainy Pants all the time talking about other people, you should really go look in the mirror in whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever goals you have. If you start to reflect, you start to look back at yourself, you're going to take years out of the entire process of achieving these goals. Or if you find yourself giving up too easily, that can also be an indicator of entitlement. One of the benefits of shifting from this entitlement to putting in the work to accomplish your goals is that you're going to actually make progress. And when you start making progress that'll actually motivate you to go further and further and further. If you really look at it and you think, you know what, maybe I have had a little bit of entitlement there. Here's some steps you can take to actually improve that. One is set realistic goals and actually break them into accomplishable steps. Sometimes you have big goals. That's great. Realistic doesn't mean they have to be small. Set huge goals, set big goals, but then break them into small enough steps that you can start to execute. Then just start taking action. Even if it's small, just do one step, then one step, then one step. What you'll find is that as you start taking steps, it actually inspires you to do more and you can create a snowball effect in the positive direction. Celebrate your successes no matter how small, really recognize yourself for, hey, I did a job well done because there are plenty of people who want to put a beat down on you in life, who want to tell you you suck. There's many people who will say on social media how they had it super easy, how they went from zero to hero overnight, which most of that is bullshit by the way, in order to create success, somebody had to put in work and then learn from your failures and keep moving forward. It's just that constant persistence, that constant driving forward that will help you do that. Hope this video helps. Share it if you think it can help anybody else on the entire face of earth. I put a link up here to another video. Check that one out. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in the next one.